Good morning, folks. We're going to see some weather, a volcano, space news, magnetic modulation, and a space mission redirected to something more important. We also have significant space weather to discuss, and that's where we'll start with our star. Yesterday, we said the sun was waking up, and boy, did it. The eruptive activity was largely around the limbs, but we'll have a peek back at yesterday's flare and one that happened in the last few hours at the northern active regions in the wake of a filament eruption. You can see that better here in 131 angstroms as the filament goes off the left side and the flare is triggered by plasma motions out ahead of it. This morning's event registered as a long duration M-class flare and was just the latest of several eruptions. One of those yesterday appears to be earth directed quite the uptick in CME production on our star the last day. And just this morning, the C2 frame shows both the dense filament eruption off the left and the fainter wide burst halo CME. That means we've likely got two eruptions heading our way and they are likely to arrive on Sunday or Monday after the coronal hole stream impact. Could be a more geomagnetically active end to the weekend and start to next week. Two tornadoes dropped in Los Angeles yesterday. Tornadoes are extremely uncommon in this area, but this double event is the second time it's happened in the last couple weeks. Things are getting weirder and weirder. The Fuego volcano erupted in Guatemala, and evacuations are necessary as ash rains down on nearby farmland and villages. It's some of the bigger activity from Fuego in recent times. Let's go to the science news where they've been able to spectrally analyze distant dust clouds to find the chemical composition deposited by some of the oldest stars known in the universe. It was largely as expected. They seeded the next generation with heavier and heavier elements. Excellent study here on the magnetic field effect on wheat germination. We have seen dozens of articles on how magnetic fields impact crops and various other plants from seed to flowering, and this one brings us back once again to that important concept as Earth's magnetic field is rapidly changing now in the ongoing pole shift. Last but not least, New Horizons is being shifted from studying the outer planets to studying heliophysics and electromagnetic aspects at the Kuiper Belt. While planetary scientists are upset, I'm thrilled, because we need this exact type of study to better understand not only heliophysics, but our interaction with the galactic magnetic fields and interstellar plasma. New Horizons, by the way, is in the direction of the galactic center, just like the Voyagers. Little Easter egg for those up on catastrophism. We greatly appreciate your support. Same ending message again, eyes on our star. Check out the links below the video, subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.